What it's right, hey guys, welcome to episode 1 of my Road Division 1 series here in FIFA 16 Ultimate Team. So uh, to start out, basically I have an 11 nation MOS squad, you see kind of a mix of bronze and a couple silver players thrown in there. Some decent players on this side, a lot of a few of them are international players for their respective uh, countries, but uh, we'll see here how things go. Uh, I do really want to have kind of tons of different squads in this series, whether it be, you know, hybrids, 11 nation squads. I kind of want to not do, you know, BPL or kind of the big leagues per se, but uh, we'll see how things goes. Of course, I'll be doing a lot of things based off of suggestion, but I'll be wrapping this up because I have tons of uh, live column matches for you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoy those. Uh, stay tuned uh, as I return later on in the episode. Oh, so it looks like we're actually be facing a guy with a bit of MLS in his side. I believe he does a Jovinko, Martins, Kaká, Bradley, Lampard, uh, Danny Rose. There looks like at left back, uh, Jajelka, Shaw Cross, uh, Gabriel. That uh, looks like a very strong squad, so we'll see how uh, we get going here. It's going to be a very challenging matchup. So it looks like he's going to have a quick counter, but Angelino does a good job stepping up there. We're going to play a little bit of those through balls likely nice little interchange here with angelino of course a bit of pace to him so we'll see how he does and back up jackson take the shot good chance and that's a goal what a way to start this matchup i uh, just really showed a little bit of a strength there and he pushed forward using some of his pace dribbling and put that shot away <laughs> very surprised by that that was a nice finish for him so a great start to this series Oh, that's a goal. I was not expecting that. Damn. So Martins gets on that back post and is able to put that in the back of the net. Very good cross, I have to say, but uh, we should have done a lot better there. Should not have even happened. As you can see, back post. Uh, Martins just beating his man there. Alavi and does a good job holding on to the ball. Angelino out wide. We're going to put this cross in now. And oh, shit. That should have been a goal. That should have been a goal. Oh my god. We had plenty of chances there. Mirana is going to put this ball in. That does look like a decent ball. It's going to fall back to Seren. He's going to hit this one. It's going to fall back. And that does not look good. This situation. Uh, we'll see if we can... Oh, he's just deadly with his passing right now. And I did not want that to happen. And he scores. Oh, that's a terrible way to go down this one. It's basically like two counterattacks is all he had. He, his pace came out for him uh, when he really needed it here. It's very frustrating. But uh, we'll surely improve the team. We played well. I was hoping he would just tug onto him there. Keeper should have done a lot better in that situation. And we are down now with just a few minutes left here. Bruno Perez, the right wing back, grabbing a goal for him. Try to cross this one in. Do we have anyone in the box? Oh, we have... Oh, that should be a foul. It should be a foul. I'm going to play this one through. Seren with the hits. Oh, that's just right at Mignolet. And it looks like that's the last chance of the game, unfortunately. So we had a couple of chances early on. He wasted time a little bit, unfortunately. And now we lose this matchup. Very disappointing because I thought we were the way, way better, way better in this matchup. But that's just how the game goes at times, unfortunately, as you can see. Um, had some decent ratings, but those counterattacks really hit us in a couple of careless uh, events here and there. So I think I'll improve this squad a bit. As you can see, 10 shots, 5 on target. He only had 5 and 4, but of course he's a bit more deadly with those chances, and I had some more possession. But uh, we'll move on, uh, of course, in our first match in this, this division, and we'll see how we can bounce back, guys. So I did actually end up upgrading a bit here. Uh, I did bring in Iguita, another Orlando City player here. He's a lot better, I'd say, you know, pace physically they can really help out in the middle next to him i really like this guy christian Deshera plays uh for the vancouver whitecaps has four star weak foot four star assumes high low work right left footed on the right wing decent pace so we'll see how he works out for us guys definitely be interesting to see as we move on here uh, and we'll get into the next matchup so now getting into the second match of this episode uh he has some decent players here. Uh, Ronaldo, of course, is the main guy. Yusuf actually plays for Mansfield Town. Very good player. Uh, I do like him in career mode as well. So uh, we'll see how he does here in this matchup with his flat 4-4-2 against us. I do think we have the advantage, of course. We came up against a tough side in that first matchup, but uh, we'll see how we bounce back here. 
Saturn with the ball. We're going to play it through to Aubameyang, and we are going to sweat it back, and we are going to finish that there. So an easy goal early on this matchup, but it uh, doesn't look like he's as tough as opponent, an opponent, at least as the last player. Well, I mean, the last player really just had good, uh, a lot of pace that kind of made up for his deficiencies, but uh, we'll move on now. Uh, so it looks like this guy did quit, unfortunately, because uh, that would have been fun to grab a lot of coins with a lot of goals. But uh, either way, we're going to have to bounce back in the next match. It just allows me to add an extra match in this episode and I'll push us along a little bit further into this series. But uh, we'll see how we fare in this next one coming up. We'll see who this guy has on his squad. Uh, looks like a decent squad. I do think it's manageable. It's a bit of a... Looks exactly like a La Liga squad. Has a few decent players. Christian Vidal on the right. But other than that, I don't really think we're going to have too much tr uh, trouble. He does have Rafinha, of course, as well. But uh, I think we can really handle this side at least. Uh, I'm being a little bit confident here. So we'll see what happens, guys. Good work, though, from Angelino. Uh, oh, that's a terrible ball, though. That's a terrible ball. Rafinha... Oh, uh, what are we doing? What are we doing defensively, guys? That is bad work defensively, but what a save from Tarnagi there. It's a huge save to keep it level. Okay. I'll fold here with this ball. Get on this one. Oh, Avang, he's a big man. What a set piece there from him. Uh, we do have some two very big strikers, and I think we saw, have seen so far how dominant they can be physically, guys. So we'll see how we continue on with these two strikers, uh, at least for maybe this next, this first episode. Iguida. Ball back to Saren. Oh, this is a good ball. This is a good ball. We're going to go with that power. Oh, fuck. Good hits either way. We bounce back and grab the goal. Nearly powered that in, but the ball falls back to Iguida. Scores on his debut, and what the, the guy was like reaching through, grabbing him through the net. So that was kind of weird, but we'll take the goal either way. Now he has a wide open chance on goal, and he quit. He quit again. We made someone else rage quit. This is weird. Uh, okay, we'll take it. It sucks because I lost the first game. I always want to try to keep like a perfect record throughout, but now we're dominating after we had a really tough draw. So I'm thinking this can we can literally just get through Division 10 possibly in just this episode. But we'll see how things go. I think I'm going to continue to build up the squad a little bit more and strengthen it for you guys. So again, I did add some more players here. AJ De La Garza, he's a pretty short center back, five foot nine, but he has very good pace, decent physical ability, nice work rates there. And next to him, we'll have a uh, very big Norwegian center back, 67 pace, 60, 78 physical. Has only, I mean, he's six foot one, but he's still very strong. So we'll see how he does there. Of course, that's how that link with Tornagi as well. But uh, we'll get into another matchup here, guys. So you can see this guy does have a pretty good squad there. Uh, we'll see how things go. He does have a shower away there. Zlatan, Lacazette, Lucas, uh, Moutinho. Wow, this guy does have actually a very good squad. Uh, this is going to be a lot of work here, so hopefully we can grab the win. It's going to be a very tough matchup. Thankful that we actually did improve a little bit uh, our side recently. Oh, Zlatan, look at this big man, this giant. Here's Zlatan. Oh, shit. No, <laughs> oh, Angelino with a huge tackle there, thankfully. But uh, we may have a break here, Jackson. Of course, he is a beast. Look at him running. We're going to play along through. Uh, so if we can grab a big goal, we're going to go for the chip. We're going to go for the chip, and that was a terrible chip. I could have played it across right there for an easy goal. Oh, man, that was a nice late run. Could have grabbed that early uh, go-ahead goal, but of course he could have as well there with Ibrahimovic. Oh, nearly good pass. Good overlap here from Teixeira. We're going to put this ball in. And Abang, oh, just a little bit too much power there. That's how we're going to end the half. You know, I think we're doing a good job for the t the team we're facing. You know, pretty even. Uh, we could, probably should have scored earlier. He could have scored early as well. So, uh, well, we'll, we'll take this nil-nil uh, at the moment. Oh, that's a good touch. Good late run. 
Put this ball into the box. Oh, fuck. That goes in. That goes in. I thought it was not going to go in. But finally, we get that goal. We deserve this goal. I think we, you know, at points, we've really been the better team. Played a little bit better there. Uh, it goes off of the defender, Maxwell. We hit it right at them again. But uh, thankfully, we got the goal there. It's a huge uh, lead at the moment. It's an own goal even. But uh, we'll take it. Set her in. Oh, I think we can just run this out. And we do. We grab the win here. Very tight matchup. He had some great players. Very happy to grab this win against what was a very good squad. Of course, the first matchup, we outplayed him. He had a way better squad than us. And this time, we finally were able to get the win in a match. And that was against another very tough opponent. So glad to make up for that first loss uh, here in that first match of the episode. But very good results. Uh, and we grab some more coins here now. 688. Of course, I have a little bit of coin boost, I believe, as well. But uh, we'll move on now. Nine points. I think I want to just finish off this division. Uh, you know, I've had two disconnects. So we might as well. And I think I'll maybe upgrade the squad. Maybe at left mid. But I'm not sure. We'll see what happens, guys. I'll come back to you if something does occur. So you can see here, getting this matchup does have... Some decent players you see, Arcadius Milik up there, um, Amodet Duf uh, up top as well, uh, the young Chris Smalling. Uh, so some decent players on the side, of course, same as Coleman can provide some problems out wide. But we'll see, I do think we can uh, have a handle on him here. We'll see what happens. Jackson Hamill, our guys are pretty tired. Holy shit, come on. We are free on goal. We are free. What do I do? Oh, come on. Yes, we finished that one. I do not know why he brought up the keeper like that, but we round him easily. We grabbed the goal with Jackson Hamill. I was worried he was going to get, like, a dead leg or something because he's very low on stamina. I was thought he might have missed that as well, but we do grab that in that one-on-one -on -one situation. Huge. He's been really good for us. I've enjoyed using him, but I, you know, I think we may upgrade it to see what you guys say about it, of course, um, as it looks like we may have moved on to Division 9 now. So we did end up securing the victory there in this matchup. Uh, it was, of course, a pretty tight matchup, but uh, we'll be moving on to Division 9 now. Of course, just kind of wanted to get through this fairly quickly uh, for you guys because I wanted to move on. Get some of your guys' feedback. Of course, if you have any recommendation for squads, if you want to keep this squad rolling, uh, continue to upgrade because I have a lot of players I know in MLS. You know, they're very exciting players that aren't exactly the big names. I think we could have a lot of fun with this series, uh, with this squad in specific, specifically, excuse me, and possibly you can move on. I'd love to go to South America again, do some hybrids, go to Scandinavia maybe, some of the smaller leagues and the like, but uh, we'll see what you guys think about that. Of course, leave some feedback, give me some of your ideas. Uh, to give some constructive criticism, supports, whatever you guys want. Uh, just leave it in the comment section below, guys. But thanks again for tuning in. I'll be signing out now, and I'll catch you guys later.